guys, this is Leonard Saldoon, finally back in Montreal. Going to do a brief review of an old beer before I get to the new ones, and there are quite a few new arrivals at local liquor stores. Quite nice surprises. I've already bought a couple of beers. So, this beer is the last one from the ones I got in Germany last, what, October, end of October? It's been a while, like 10 months. Uh, but this was a good beer. I had it several times in Essen which is not too far from Dusseldorf where this beer is made and Dusseldorf is also home for this style of beer which is old beer German sort of brown ales it's a top fermented beer not a lager and 4.8 is the ABV 4.8 that's not that much and um, from my experience it's a very nice example of the style and the brewery only makes a couple of beers they don't make that many a nice design really taking that Wonderful cap with I think either an eagle or falcon falcon. So the beer is quite brown, some thin head. It's been a while since I poured it out since I can't get myself can't get my act together and film this review. Finally doing it. Um the Roma it starts out sort of like a dunkel lager with you know, some subtle chocolate and uh, slight dark fruit note and caramel. But then, actually, I get a bit of a earthy kind of hoppiness and a bit of a more brown ale texture to the flavour, if that's possible to say that. But it does remind me of English brown ales, as far as the aroma goes. Also gets in some plum notes, maybe a bit of dates. Uh, let me take a sip. Mmm, this is good. Even though it's already past its expiry date, and I kind of feel ashamed for not drinking this for so long, but it still tastes very nice. Dark fruit, bit of chocolate, not very sweet, but there's that kind of very nice multi base. Being a multi beer, this is quite expected. Um, slight bitterness in the aftertaste. Definitely a medium body to the beer overall. Mm, very nice. Not super intense, but this is definitely more intense than uh, any lager, any German lager, even the dark ones. It's even similar to maybe Czech lager, dark Czech lagers, which I find great, but some people have a problem with Czech beers either way. But I find a dark Czech beers really, really nice. And this is somewhere along the lines. But this is an ale and this is an old beer, so I shouldn't you know, talk about other styles too much because people are going to get upset. I think this is a very good old beer. I've had only like four types like at this point. And I think Diebels is a bit more well known in Germany and outside of it. But I prefer this to Diebels because Diebels is a bit too dry for me. So yeah, this is an interesting beer. I'll give this like an 8 out of 10. Because so I think um, I've had this probably again about 4 or 5 times. This is my last one, I guess, for now, since we don't get this beer. But um, I enjoyed it every single time. I had it on tap from the small bottles, from the big ones. So, and it's very, very, very nice and consistent. So, Frankenheim, old beer, 8 out of 10. Cheers, stick to good beer.